So this is a Laterno organ from St. Hyacinth, uh, Canada. And back in 2017, the church realized that our instrument at the time was failing and we needed to uh, create a committee to look into this. And so a committee was formed and we interviewed local builders, uh, bu other builders in the country, and then as well as Laterno in Canada. And Laterno stood out to us and we thought they were our best um, arrangement we could make. And so they got the contract and then everything else came out of this project with uh, redoing the room to improve our acoustic for uh, both congregational singing and worship and the spoken word, um, touch up the paint, make it all look pretty again and uh, new. And then the organ returned uh, to us in June of 29, oh no, just kidding, we had the pandemic, uh, which put delays on us. And then the organ returned in June of 2021 uh, and it took about two and a half months to install the organ. And then about a month later, uh, voicers from Laterno arrived and they went through the whole organ pipe by pipe and made each pipe sound beautiful for this room and the correct volume and everything uh, that they do. An exciting thing about our project is that this organ is the first new instrument in the city in 30 years. So uh, our organ, as you can see, has four manuals and we have just about 5,000 pipes and they range from 32 feet in length to about this small. Um, we have fun sounds, percussion sounds as well, like the chimes or a harp and a little glockenspiel. as well as we have um, bells that turn around, or go around, excuse me, it's called a zimbelstern. We have a little nightingale, which is a bird. And then everybody's favorite, we have a thunder stop. Mm -hmm. So I think you could say our organ is unique and uh, isn't like any other organ in this region.